the water, they give the complete illusion of floating seaweed. Weedy sea dragons are only found along the southern and western coast of Australia and makes them in high demand. But one research group in Hawaii is trying to successfully breed them on their own. KITV4's Ashley Moser explains in this week's edition of Going Wild. For anyone who's ever seen a sea dragon, one way to describe them is breathtaking. A remarkable creature that can grow up to 10 inches long, but biologists say sighting one of these guys is rare. One, because weedy sea dragons are only found in Australia, and two, they are rarely kept in exhibits. Sea dragons haven't been really kept in captivity for very long, and at the moment, only very few aquariums have managed to um, actually breed them successfully. And that's exactly what Waikiki Aquarium biologist Malini Parker is trying to do. Already? Like their relative, the seahorse, biologists say males are the ones that carry the babies. The female will deposit her eggs um, on the underside of the male's tail. And uh, what happens is that they will, they will stick on there and then they'll get vascularized and the male will carry it to term. After a small male dropped its eggs, aquarium scientists adjusted their living conditions to make them as close to natural as possible. That included changing their water's temperature and by adding more mice shrimp to their diet. Even the carotenoids in the shrimp help their colors become more vibrant and attractive. And when looking at these guys, it's hard to miss all their extra appendages. Biologists say they have 12, then they use them to camouflage in the wild, making them the more ornate creature of the Synathidae family. So ornate that people try to illegally snatch them from the wild. But to combat that issue, biologists are looking to breed them in exhibits to take pressure off the wild population. Because instead of people looking to the natural population to get animals, they'll be able to get them from... Um, at the aquariums. Just one of the many reasons biologists are trying to educate people about this species, saying you can't conserve what you don't know. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. And starting today, you can see these guys for the first time ever, along with seahorses and pipe fishes, in the Waikiki Aquarium's new Signathid exhibit. Pretty cute. Yeah.